uh, demonstrating a feature of the shell known as uh, process substitution. Um, you might be familiar with the fact that uh, in commands in the shell, or in bash, this um, demo I'll be using bash, um, you, might, you might be familiar with the fact that commands can only have a single input source and basically a, a single output source. Uh, so if you've ever piped multiple commands together, um, it's just one input connects uh, to, the out, to, the, to the output and then to the input of the next and so forth. Uh, uh, but we're going to explore some uh, some commands that fundamentally are not just one to one, uh, and we're going to look at some of the limitations of the one stream one output model, and show how process substitution uh, allows us to overcome some of those limitations. Um, so the first command we're going to look at is uh, diff, and so that's like actually create some files first. So um, let's see. Um, let's say hello. Hello A, and we'll write this to file A. We can do the same. Hello, hello B, write it to file B. Um, we can use the tool diff um, to look at two different uh, files and, and produce the differences of those two files. Um, so the thing is, though, is that diff is actually just getting two command line arguments. Uh, these aren't even necessarily files. I can lie and you know pass it something, um, and, and diff will just try and interpret you know those arguments as files. Uh, and the reason why that you know the command has to rely on, or yeah, why diff has to rely on command arguments is because um, it cannot receive two input streams. Commands can only receive a single input stream. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the hash of the file A and calculate the hash of the file B and compare them with diff. But we're going to use process substitution. So that's going to look like first let's calculate the hash of A. So we do open SSL. Shell one a, um, and we'll actually just cat a today. <coughs> so that that's the hash of, of uh, file a, and um, we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually type what I just typed. Shell one. We're gonna do the same for uh, file b. So this might look a little bit funky, but basically what's happening here. Um, is that this command right here generates um, cat, catting uh, the file to, to open a cell is going to generate the shell that we saw before. And then um, we're going to do the same thing for B. And behind the scenes, uh, what the shell is going to do with this operator is that it's actually going to set up two files with the contents of those hashes and give them to diff. So diff is still going to be working with files. Um, if we type this, we'll see that the hashes are different because well, the files are different. So we can actually just copy um, A to B really quick, do this again, and sure enough, diff showed no differences. Um, so this is kind of cool because um, before we were limited to just putting a file directly into diff, but now we can put any complex, um, any complex uh, program. Uh, and um, pro so process substitution actually has another variant. Uh, uh, the way diff works is that diff takes two files and it reads from each of those files. So, and likewise, this uh, command substitution um, tells diff to read from that command. But there's another variant of process substitution which allows us to um, that allows um, uh, commands to be written to. Uh, so let's uh, so diff diff fundamentally is a multi-input to a single output. It, it right it diffs multiple input files and then generates an output. We're now going to look at a tool. Uh, that is a single input source to many outputs, so one to many. Uh, and that file is called t. Um, so what we can do is we can say echo hello. Oops. Uh, let's clear the screen. We can echo hello to the t program, and we'll uh, do like so in file three, uh, and then we'll pipe it to one further thing. So it's gonna, what T does is T takes standard in, it's going to take that hello message, and it's going to pipe it directly to base64. But as that data flows through T, it's actually going to write that data to each of the files as well. So if we run this command, we can, we can cat file one, Oops. you can see that it's hello. The same thing is going to show for two. 
So that's how T works. T accepts um, a single input and writes to uh, many different outputs. Um, but now we're going to show a variant that, is, um, that uses T in a rather flexible way. And bear with me because this command is a little bit long. Uh, but basically what it does is it, it reads a line from the user and it just sends it straightly, straight to T, but then it uses process substitution. Um, so what happens is that line goes through T and as it goes through T, T writes it to each of its arguments, which it thinks are files. Um, and what's going to happen is that line's going to go into raw filter, it's going to go into alpha filter, and, and all the other filters. So let's just try it out. We can type um, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. And it shows you that um, raw filter is producing that first line, alpha filter is producing the second line, and uh, then we look at the compressed version and the base64 version. Um, so again, uh, just process substitution allows us to specify um, instead of just having instead of having to create temporary files, we can put an entire process there um, instead, and um, it allows for um, you know now I can put in a component like such as raw filter, which could be ar arbitrarily complex. So um, that's the gist of process substitution. Um, let's. Just to show you kind of how what it's do, we can actually peek behind the covers really quick and, sh and see what's going on. So if I type echo, what it's showing me is that diff is actually being passed to this path, and behind the scenes, this is how the shell does it. Um, it basically whatever is inside of here, whatever process is inside of here, um, the shell creates that file. Uh, and substitutes that file in place because that's what diff was expecting. Diff needs a file here. Um, and so that, that's, that's process substitution.